These are my friends. Join us as we risk everything and try anything to fulfill the dying wish of my mom. That we live life to the fullest, engage in the outrageous, face fears, chase dreams, connect, delight, absorb, and do it all with eyes wide open. This is our journey. So come with us and don't blink. When I left to go to school, it was like 80 degrees, and right now, back in October, it is 39 degrees. It's fall in Wisconsin, it is beautiful, it is pristine, and it's really cold, so we're going water skiing? This is it? Oh my god. You miss us yet? It's been what? A couple months. Couple months! Oh god. The gang's getting back together to finish the next item on the list. Looks like Greg's put on a couple pounds, but I've been looking forward to this ever since the first week of classes. Like when you, you envision stuff, when you put it on the list, but then all of a sudden like, it's like you look around, it's kind of just like, and then boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> My God. With some of these items, it's so difficult to set up, but with others, you just happen to know the right guy. And as it turns out, my friend's friend's dad's friend is Farmer Dan. Wanna take a little tour? Yeah, I would love to. How did you come to run a cranberry farm? I, my dad started it, uh, and so I grew up in it, and I got to spend all my time, my childhood doing this, so it's just something I love to do. <laughs> I've been doing it my whole life. It's a different kind of farming, completely. It's so fun, but it's yeah, really yeah. different. That you basically see them in water because that's when it's the cool time, fun yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But literally 98% of the time they're never in water. Okay. They're, they grow dry like the beds you saw yep. over there. Once they realize that cranberries float, then they realize it was easier to harvest them in the water. It's yeah. just, they, they, they float up off the plant, they come off the plant easier, and then they, you can handle them easier. So it's actually, they've been using water harvesting probably for close to uh, 50 years. There's three native fruits to the United States, and yeah. cranberries is one, grapes are the other, and blueberries are the third. But Wisconsin grows the most cranberries in the country. We're the largest oh, producer wow. of cranberries. <laughs> the reason in, 19, in the mid-1940s these cranberry beds were built in this area here is because it was all wild cranberries. And the interesting thing of this plant is you put it in the ground, plant it, and it's good for forever. Some of these plants have been in the ground over uh, 50 years here. Oh, wow. Well, this is what a cranberry plant looks like. Okay. So every year, this plant grows this much right here. Oh, wow. My dad and I have been working together. Well, I used to work with him, sit on the tractor when he did things. Yeah. And so I just get to be with my dad. He's like, you know, almost your best friend. Yeah. And that's about the coolest thing you can do. He's 81 years old. He still comes to work every day. Oh, cool. So, I mean, to be able to do that is really, that's that's the ultimate. Oh, really yeah. It's fun. You know, my dream is to be a, a great filmmaker, right? But you look at the farmer and his family and the life he's got here. There's some part of it that just draws you in. Driving around with Farmer Dan, I feel like it could be in an episode of Planet Earth. I'm almost forgetting about why you came here in the first place. <laughs> it's never a good look to wear a skin-tight wetsuit in 40 degree weather, right? I mean, my, my cranberries are turning into craisins, if you know what I mean. I'm having flashbacks right now to the water ski show. I ate it. That was the fall. Oh, it's good. After that poor showing, I think this is my chance for redemption. Right now it's 48 degrees. 48. 48 is freezing. I'm just hoping I can get up on the first try here. Oh, look at, listen to this. Especially since I've got an audience with Farmer Dan and his daughter. I don't want to embarrass myself. He's in a dry suit, so he's fine. You know, it's just his hands in his face. 
I'm in a wetsuit, which means I'm my whole body will be wet. I'm ready. There's tension. Oh! Oh no! Oh man! Not only did I make a fool out of myself, but that cold water is make, making my lips red. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. Now it looks like I'm wearing lipstick. Don't try to hold on if you're underwater. With Owen having performance issues here, I feel like this is my chance to step up. Are you keeping your hat on? Mm -hmm. What if it blows off? I don't think it will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this whole scene right now is out of a country song. You got the farmer, the farmer's daughter, the old <laughs> pickup truck. I mean, all the characters are here. Just give me a cold one and I'll be in country heaven. After watching Owen struggle, the farmer decided to give me a little inside scoop on where I should start. Like the actual water skiing in a, is it something like, how did that start? So when we were kids, yeah. Greenbergers, we all water skied, we all belonged to the water, local water ski club. Yeah. And so we're like, what more fun things can we do? <laughs> so we started out skiing in the bed behind the truck. Oh and my god. And we all learned how to barefoot and we're like, oh gosh, we got this big long canal so we could barefoot down this thing. So we go 40 miles an hour on this bike. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It's good. That was so good. Yes. Oh my god. God. And sometimes we get two guys barefooting next to each other. Yeah. Because it's, it's, we got, well, how can you make it more challenging? <laughs> <laughs> it's just some things you do around here. Oh have fun. my God. <laughs> and as unconventional as it was, it was more fun than we had had in a long time. Just imagine 50 semis. <laughs> that would be an average crop for us. Oh 50 semis. Gosh. Full, full. Jeez, yeah. Top to bottom. Oh. Semi trailers. Oh, wow. That's oh. wild. <laughs> and that's us, and we're kind of a small cranberry farm. So, what about you, man? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's always fun when we can get the camera guys involved. I think we might have a little surprise coming. <laughs> 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 Oh! <laughs> Who wears jorts underneath khakis? How crazy am I if I want to go in my jorts only? Not at all. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is grabbing life by the horns. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm starting like this. What a beautiful way to end the day. I don't know if I've seen anything as beautiful as this scene in my entire life. Oh my god, thank you. That's definitely bucket list checked off. Yes! Oh. This is an incredible day. When you got a rainbow showing up at the end of the day. I rarely have time to stop and just appreciate what's in front of me, but on this bucket list item of skiing and cranberries, I feel like I'm truly living. I am so grateful for this moment right now. We got Stephanie convinced she's going for it on the dry suit, so she's never done this before, right? Correct. So, it'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. It's always cool how you chasing your dreams, trying to be the best version of yourself, has yeah. ripple effects. <laughs> Like Stephanie, she grew up on this farm and has never skied in a cranberry bog. But this is going to be a memory that hopefully she's going to remember for the rest of her life. And the same thing with Pat.
you don't realize when you're kind of just going about your own business how many great people are around you. Take care, guys. Have a safe trip back. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Next time on Don't Blink. We have eight days to come up with $1,000. It's a lot of money, dude. How are we supposed to explain to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and Emmett's family if we blew it gambling? Miss Wisconsin, in six days, is attending a ball at Fred Astaire. This could change like our, our whole social life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. We got so much great content coming down the pipeline. If you haven't already, go like and subscribe. And if you would like to support this channel, go ahead and hit the Patreon button down below. We so appreciate it.